Uh, hello, everybody. No, can I get here? Here on Final Fantasy War of the Visions to roll for Flag Bearer Glacilla. So, um, yeah, I get I come a little bit late in terms of like kind of rolling for her and put her on early, but mainly because I've been like wondering whether I really need her so badly. I mean, I think I, I do need her, I do want her, right? It's just a matter of when. If I roll now, I definitely would be able to get her uh, and be able to use her much more sooner than if I was wait later. If you guys haven't figured it out, like a lot of the premium characters I kind of skipped, like Dark Fina, uh, Little Little the Brave, Thoughtily, I have them all now because of all the free sums we got during the anniversary and then also those uh, really good paid banners that kind of let you pick what you want, kind of help fill up the missing holes of what I didn't get. I just got them all now. Uh, they're not quite ready to use, but they're very, very close. If not already there, kind of at at least 99. Um, so yeah, so look at Glastrilla. She is a wind character, uh, and she's a standard character, not like a limited character. So I will eventually be able to get her, but I skip her now. Uh, but since I am a wind main, right, and she's a really strong wind character, that's reason why it's really like tough for me to, to really skip her. Um, I don't know if I would in like an entire need of her right now, because my team right now of two B, uh, June, and Little Leela has been doing really well so far, and it's a half. Um, but I guess it gives me more options if I, if I go ahead and get the show right now. And if you look at how much visual I have, um, not doing that bad right now, right? Even if I did uh, pity for her, I still have enough for two more characters guaranteed and maybe some vision cards along the way, right? So, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go for her, but at least, I'm obviously at least use these tickets. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these right now. If I get her here, then it's obviously a done deal. And it's a bronze book. <laughs> okay, probably not gonna be a done deal unless some kind of miracle happens here. Okay. No miracles today. <laughs> and when I think about it, my luck today doesn't actually look that great. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of bad things kind of happened. Unfortunate things. Almost got into a car accident. Uh, when I was playing a little card game, I was getting all the bad draws. Hmm. Definitely makes you wonder if I should be rolling today at all. Hmm. Oh. Okay, wait. Before we go into more about into rolling her, I should try to talk about her, why she's good, right? Why I'm debating getting her. So, uh, a biggest part of her kit is she's able to hit. She has pretty lo lots of kind of piercing, right? She's gonna hit hard, no matter how like much resistance they have, almost. Uh, but not only that, she is also very accurate. So all those evasion characters, she most likely will be able to hit them because her luck is pretty high. It's like, yeah, like rank 40s in luck, and um. More importantly, her big gimmick is she's able to kind of get rid of guts and uh, re-raise. I think depending on which sub job you pick. But she can also dispel the enemy with her attacks. So whatever defense she, they have, I think she can also break barrier. Yeah, break barrier, dispel, uh, re-raise, guts. She could kind of break through anything they have. So... It's really appealing for us to really have her in your team when she's kind of able to break through anything. Okay, anyways, uh, I think that's enough for you talking about her. She's obviously gonna work well with Winter Lurathra, but yeah, let's go ahead and just roll for her. Uh, starting with the nine step, I think. This is your guaranteed time summon. Hmm. But it's not her guarantee. This is a guarantee you are. I mean, it's a good chance to get her. 
Pokemon Spears, which is okay. This is a standard character, I'm not too worried about them to gather her shards very quickly. Usually standard characters have a lot of options. Put them both Ferrex and Heart Quest and get them pretty quickly. Okay, you know what? I'll start with the nice stuff. Start with that. Because no matter what, I still need... I still need... Those prisms. I always need those prisms. And bosses are okay as well. And... First pull? Not so bad. We have a... We definitely have a UR at the very end, and it's a character. The question is if that's going to be actually her. And again, since she's a premium, she's usually half the rate compared to a non-premium character. Yep, not her. <laughs> Should have done. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and push forward. So oh, one thing I didn't do is I should have actually looked around for like there's obviously pretty options for her. If they're like any of the other uh, other characters we've seen so far, most likely you are able to pity her by buying her from the meadows or trying to roll the standard banner and uh, get the gauge pull. Kind of get her, but I think. I was thinking, like, getting her from the gauge would also need much the most medals because you can set in all those medals on her shards. But again, I think she is pretty easy to work on, so that's not a big deal. Vision card. Okay, I'm gonna skip this one. Most likely not it. Alright, pretty sure she's not gonna appear here. Here. So that's 300 medals already. I kind of wanted to take a peek very quick. So there's a gauge. You are guaranteed a unit on the next 10 summon. Oh, so this is like every 10, I think. Every, yeah, every 5, I mean. 20%. That you are guaranteed you are. So you can't fully pity her with the gauge but you would have to gather enough metals to buy her no matter what it's just that you know getting the UR sometimes have a good chance to get her 25% chance that's literally flip the two coins and making sure that you um, they you know land to whatever you call they pretty hard but okay Go ahead and continue with the ninth step because I still need all those other materials. Yeah, so I've been kind of. Oh. There's a UR unit. Could be her. Could not be her. Let's see. Use amount of like gold looking ones as well, which could possibly turn rainbow. Nope. Nope. Wrong spear, lady. <laughs> Act. That's technically her instructor, the one who taught her how to use the spear. Vision card. Alright, not it. Yeah, alright, not it. Skipping that one. Three pull. Vision card as well. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> it's nice that at least I still get medals for these pulls, so it's still contribute towards her pity. And doing nine pulls usually means that I'm close to halfway getting all the pulls I need.
Oh, this one has a chance. Very slim chance, but it's still a chance. Yeah, so one team I could I think I could try is literally like a 2v Coachella and um oh and Lula combo. Even though even though uh Coachella isn't really an invasive unit, her luck is high enough where she can kinda of invade some really inaccurate uh characters in an invade team. Probably as much as, like, you know, June when she invades. Oh. Hello, little Leela, the bold. I call her the Bray, but I guess the bold. Okay. Nope. Wrong one unit. Two URs and no, not the right ones. Okay, it's fine. I'll take those blossoms. One more of the nine step. Get a lot of those mission clears. It is a character that's not turning rainbow. That's a decent amount of gold right there. Very unlikely. What's the chances it's gonna be the very final roll? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Wrong win unit. What's with the all these win units and all these other yards? I mean, I'll take it. It's still, still materials that I would need. I don't think I need the rainbows as much, but the the stars are still nice to kind of get. Okay, so we're done with the ninth step. Uh. Yeah, I almost feel like when it comes to pre units, it's always going to end up being... Being that point where I have to hit that pity. So let's go ahead and go for this. Oh, that's right, I can also use the other option, can I? Hmm. Uh, it is a card of the brand. Nope. Alright, goes about 20. It's very five. Character. Two characters. Maybe even three. Not that one. Oh, let us show them the strength of Sworn Sisterhood. This is definitely her. Nice. So on those metals, now I kind of go towards our shards, so not too bad. It's definitely way better than kind of have to pity for her. And the other Glacilla, apparently. <laughs> Don't need that anymore, but sure, I'll take it. Okay, nice. Well, that means I am done rolling for her, and I usually don't really worry about that. Yeah, I forgot that we kind of mentioned there are things you kind of want to consider before rolling for her. I think it might be too late. This is kind of late the week anyways. I think if you were going for it, you probably would have rolled for her by now. But if you haven't and you're still debating on it, probably waiting for like Sunday news, like I was kind of. But I'm kind of pretty sure what's going to happen next, uh, the next update will be an expert that kind of just kind of specialized in boosting piercing, right? Kind of synergizes well with her. And. That usually kind of means it's probably only going to be that, but there could be also times when both the vision card and a new character gets released, like, you know, the Gobos Lusa character. 
That's the one thing people are kind of worried about. But for me, uh, obviously I'm still fine being the kind of raw global exclusive character. So that's not an issue for me. Um, but for people who are kind of low, it's debatable. It almost sounds like you probably would kind of want to wait and see, right? It doesn't hurt to kind of wait a little bit just to see what news they kind of give us. So whatever you guys decide, I kind of just gonna have to just wish you guys luck. Hopefully you guys don't have the pity for her. Um, if you're going for her, if you're gonna skip her. It's probably fine. You probably will get her down the road in a better way. Maybe take long, a little bit longer to kind of get her working, but you'll get there. Um, it's just more important to kind of focus on the limited characters that you cannot get, right? If you need those down the road. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, Nick is signing out. Bye.